There was once a dark story of a great replacement, a story filled with flagrant racism and neo-Nazi fear-mongering. A conspiracy theory so vile, so extreme, so dangerous, it was kept far away from the rest of us, on the furthest fringes of the far right. What is the great replacement? It's a story, or a theory if you will, about liberal elites secretly changing our demographics, helping black and brown immigrants to invade America and replace white people. It's a white supremacist story about so-called white genocide. Scary, right? Bonkers, too. And yet this year, Fox's Tucker Carlson came along and thought, hmm, let's bring this idea into the light to a primetime cable audience. I know that the left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement, if you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots, with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's, that's what's happening, actually. To be clear, nativist and xenophobic ideas about losing our country to foreigners, about swarming brown hordes at the border, is as old as America itself. And Fox hosts and GOP politicians have been pushing opposition to foreigners coming into this country for years now. The Great Replacement Theory, though, is an updated and more extreme version of all of that, a modern-day rallying cry for the neo-Nazi far-right. Ironically, it was imported here from abroad, from France, from foreigners. The French writer Renaud Camus wrote The Great Replacement in 2011, a book that railed against Muslim immigrants, accusing liberal elites of orchestrating an anti-white genocide by substitution and it quickly became a favorite of neo-Nazis across the West. Is it any wonder then that the Anti-Defamation League, the ADL, which monitors the far right, especially anti-Semites, called for Tucker Carlson to be fired for referencing this awful racist garbage back in April, writing, make no mistake, this is dangerous stuff. Carlson's full-on embrace of the white supremacist replacement theory went too far. Fox refused to take any action against Carlson. Even though the ADL is right, this is very dangerous stuff. It fueled a hateful chance of Jews will not replace us in Charlottesville in 2017, a day that led to a neo-Nazi killing a 32-year-old woman, Heather Heyer, when he drove through the crowd. Great replacement theory also inspired the mass shooting at Pittsburgh's Tree of Life Synagogue in October 2018. Eleven Jews were killed that day by a far-right racist who blamed Jews for bringing evil Muslims into the United States. In March 2019, a far-right shooter massacred 49 people in two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand, after posting a 74-page declaration online. You know what it was called? The Great Replacement. In El Paso, Texas, just months later, another far-right shooter killed 23 people in a Walmart, many of them Latinos, after drafting a document which referenced the Hispanic invasion of Texas and cultural and ethnic replacement brought on by the invasion. Great replacement theory gets people killed. And yet you now have Tucker Carlson, the most influential right-wing cable news host in America, defending it, promoting it, mainstreaming it. And elected Republicans are now following in his footsteps. Because before, they'd nod and wink about replacement theory. They'd use racist dog whistles about our changing demographics. But now, like Carlson, members of the GOP are openly trafficking in neo-Nazi rhetoric. For many Americans, what seems to be happening or what they believe right now is happening is uh, what appears to them is we're replacing national-born American, native-born Americans per to permanently transform the political landscape of this very nation. This administration wants complete open borders, and you have to ask yourself why. Is it really they want to remake the demographics of America? We know what the Democrats are up to here. They want open borders. This is exactly their strategy. Uh, they want to replace the American electorate. Republican politicians are saying things there that domestic terrorists, white supremacist terrorists in Pittsburgh, in Christchurch, in El Paso said. And we're busy arguing about infrastructure? This is how white supremacy is normalized in America today. The marriage between Rupert Murdoch's Fox and Donald Trump's GOP. And they make us numb to this stuff. For example, last week, Tucker Carlson doubled down on great replacement theory. This time, dishonestly misrepresenting Joe Biden's support for immigration reform to make his point. 
In political terms, this policy is called the Great Replacement, the replacement of legacy Americans with more obedient people from faraway countries. In April, there was huge uproar when he cited replacement theory. Last week, not so much. In April, Fox boss Lachlan Murdoch came out and defended Carlson and denied he'd endorsed Great Replacement Theory. This time, the younger Murdoch didn't even have to bother. And this time, when the ADL came out to condemn Carlson again, this is how the Fox host himself responded to Megyn Kelly. Today, there's, there's more blowback on, on whether you've been pushing for the Great Replacement Theory. And you said that this was going to happen on your show last night. Sure enough, on cue, the ADL comes out and comes after you. Um, and I wonder... ADL, so I'm not on... I, no, I don't I even mean, want to be the one to tell you because you do a good job of avoiding it. Know. Now it's just openly F the ADL, huh? Imagine if Ilhan Omar had said that, by the way. But sure enough a right-wing Republican congressman jumped in to support the Fox host. Matt Gates tweeted, Carlson is correct about replacement theory as he explains what is happening to America. Then Gates called the ADL racist. I don't know if I can overstate this point, but this is a deeply dangerous moment for America. Millions of people every night are watching cable hosts endorse a once fringe neo-Nazi conspiracy about migrants and black and brown people and Jews. Millions of people are voting for politicians who used to be afraid to say this stuff out loud, but are now happily and proudly doing so. And look, we know where this obsession with great replacement theory ends. With people being killed in synagogues, in mosques, in Walmarts. This is not a story anyone should be telling. Hi, I'm Zerlina Maxwell. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more from Zerlina by clicking any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thanks for watching.